the whole crypto space and the whole NFT space is filled with weirdos. Like everyone that I've talked to that wants to come to me with some idea, it's always very strange. Like when when people have come to, you know, like my business manager with financial propositions, they're always it's logical. Like it makes sense. Oh, invest in this. This is a fund and it does this and this is how you get a return on your investment. None of that stuff ever made any sense to me. The, I, I avoided all of it, luckily, but I was propositioned by multiple different entities about these kind of things. And I was like, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know, like, why would anybody buy an NFT? Like, you know, oh, it's a non-fungible token, and then you put it in a NFT wallet, and you have this thing. I'm like, but I have the same thing on my phone. I could take a screenshot of that NFT, and I have it. Like, what is the thing, the physical thing? You know, it's like, I understand, like, uh, Beeple. Do you know who Beeple is? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so Beeple made that little Giga Chad thing for us. It's a piece of digital artwork. Yeah. And, you know, he has an actual museum of digital art. Right. And if you buy a piece from him... You actually get a physical piece of digital mm -hmm. art. There's something there. Yeah, I get it. Makes sense. I like the the ape ape yacht club, whatever the fuck that is. Like, what's going on here? Like, I don't. I have a, a friend of mine who's an artist who made over a million dollars on NFTs, and I'm like, what did you do? And like, he talks to me for ten minutes, and I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck you just said. Yep. So, let me start by saying so. Uh, I work with a super talented digital artist, so he does a lot of my set stuff. So I have a lot of respect for you know the challenge of a lot of digital artists as opposed to physical artists. Is like if you're a painter, you sell your paintings. Right. If you're a digital artist, how do you you yes. print it out? Like what do you, what do you do? So NFTs were sort of originally it was like this is for artists. Like this is a way for a digital artist now to legitimately sell scarcity in their work, which. Previously, they had no way of doing. You still can take a screenshot, but you don't own the NFT that like sort of the digital artist has sort of provisioned like this is the thing that matters. So I have a lot of like in that way, in that one way, I, I like I get it. I get why people wanted it to be, you know, to become the next big thing. The problem is, is it's quickly taken over as an investment vehicle. Now it's like everybody's an art dealer and now everybody's an art Ooh. expert. And, and now we're trying to make a buck. Right. And that anytime you get art involved with money, things get weird. But especially when you get art involved with quick flips and returns. And now we're going to ma all make money from this. That's when things get really weird. So, like, I feel bad sort of for digital artists, legitimate digital artists who really do legitimate NFT work. I don't think there's anything wrong with selling your work as a digital artist. Like, what do you expect them to do? Not everybody can go work for like some random YouTuber. Like, you, you know, people have to earn a living, they do legitimate work and good work but the problem is when greed gets involved when people get involved basically promising you know money in the case of the board ape yacht club it's sort of like what they their idea was we'll start like almost like a country club where the nft is the pass for the country club and like you can go chat with the like holders of this board ape yacht club and i guess the idea is like because it's expensive then you get in the room with you know, people with money. Um, but I found that whole thing weird because of the, like, you know, Jimmy Fallon's getting involved and like, and then all these like mainstream celebrities, you know, start promoting this thing. And it's like, this is a little, why is everyone doing it? And then you come to find out that a lot of them had their board apes bought by this company called MoonPay, who is trying to like, you know, use the celebrity's likeness to push that out. And it's just like, this is a strange, what, what's actually going on here? Is it just about the art? It doesn't actually appear to be. I just don't understand how it worked. I don't understand how anybody looked at it and went, this is logical, I'm gonna buy that. So think about it, so think about it this way though. So I'm sure you you played a bunch of games, video games, right? Have you ever played a video game where like they have like in-game, you know, skins and like different like outfits? Sure. And, so people, so, Tons of businesses have been built, like the entire free-to-play model of Fortnite. You know, Fortnite makes millions and millions and millions of dollars. Their whole model is built on skins and like mm -hmm. different like in-game purchasable items. Right. You don't actually own anything. It ultimately, it just lives and dies with your computer. 
NFTs are sort of like, I guess the idea with NFT gaming or whatever is like where you would actually own, own it. Like the, the game couldn't take it away from you. You'd have mm. some piece of art that you'd have some ownership of that would matter. Um, again, I think the challenge is, is just like, where greed and like marketers get involved, they just sort of like ruin everything with scams and fraud to where it's very tempting. And I get the temptation to just throw everything out and go, it's all just a fraud, right? Because you see so much of it and so much of it is just like kind of people trying to scam you basically for, you know, and use especially celebrity likenesses to scam people. Mm. Yeah, the celebrity part is a big key in all this, right? It's a, I mean, it's a huge part. It, this is how we get legitimacy for products now. It's like sort of like endorsements. Endorsements. It's like yeah. you got to find a guy to do it. Uh, so ultimately, like, and the.